Hello and welcome back to week 8 of the NIWFA show which as you can see is being filmed at Dixon Park which is the hallowed turf of Ballyclare Comrades. In case you're wondering what exactly we're doing at Ballyclare Comrades, Zoe here is involved with the club so she managed to convince me to come all the way down from Lisburn to do the show however there was one condition and it was one condition was that I got to wear my beloved distillery shirt and here we are. I can just about live with it, just about. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'll go on with the show and next up is Lauren Ladies versus Foil Bell Ladies. This was a key game in Division 1 with both sides up there at the top and both vying for promotion. Three points were a must, but let's see who got them. Here's the match highlights. So Zoe, that was a very interesting game. Your thoughts on that one? Yeah, it was. It was very competitive. I think it was always going to be. The three points are crucial to to both teams. It was a very feisty game. Yeah. Lots of meaty tackles going in, and mm -hmm. then obviously Lauren getting that that late winner. 
Yeah, it's going to make a big difference, possibly come the end of the season. Those three points that means Larne now sort of played seven one seven. They've now put a bit of a distance between themselves and Foyle Bells. So if Foyle had won the other night, all of a sudden they're right on Larne's tails. But obviously you can't rule Val McKay out either. They're right in the mix as well. So it's going to be an interesting chase at the end of the season. See who makes those two promotion spaces to move up into the, the championship next time around. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm sure Larne will probably fancy themselves now with promotion. As you say, there is there is a wee bit of distance there, but you never know what can happen. So we'll see. A lot of football still to be played. Anyhow, post-match, Zoe caught up with Catherine Halvern from Lauren and here were her thoughts on the game. Catherine, congratulations on tonight's victory. Thoughts on the game? Yeah, it was a tough match um, for both teams from start to finish. Could have went either way. Uh, we just dug deep, got our two goals and, and won the match. Look, this, this camp, if I can say it, this season, we all believe in each other. We all believe in our game plan. And no matter what, the, what way things go during the match, it's that belief to just keep on going, keep on fighting for each other that has got us these points each game. Next up on the show is highlights between Lisburn Lady Swifts and New Hill. These two teams were both making their debut in Division 5 in the NIWFA, so we'll go straight to the highlights. That's right when it's wrong, I've stayed here too long But something brings me back to you I swear we belong, I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you Back to you, back to you, back to you your thoughts on this one? Good game, a good standard of a match for Division 5. First time I've seen either of the two sides and was well impressed with them both. Bit of a bizarre start it has to be said. You know, Newhill that started the match with only nine players. Unfortunately had a few players self-isolating so they couldn't make up the full 11. Uh, they, they conceded a couple of early goals which really given them a mountain to challenge but then another player arrived and made it up to 10 players. Another player arrived after that and made it up to 11. And once it was 11-11 it was very little between the two sides and I thought both sides reduced a decent game of football. 
Uh, Lisburn once again looked like there's a lot of decent players coming through the ranks. Great goal from GS Sellers on the night, uh, which obviously clinched the game. But overall, good standard and very enjoyable match. So it was an interesting one then. Yeah. Post match, Colin caught up with players from both sides to hear their thoughts on the game. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a hard fought team and they were top of the league. So they were. We could have played a bit better, but at the end of the day, we got to win three points in the bag and just need to communicate a bit better. But I think we played overall well. Yeah, disappointing result, but we started with nine players. So we started obviously slow on the back burner. Uh, we tried to set up defensively, we were packing the midfield out right across the centre, but they were just taking the ball behind. We were trying to sit back a good bit, but when the pressure came in, we conceded two early goals. They were very, very sloppy, very, very easy. Um, but we tried to push on from there. We got another wee goal back. But to be honest, over like overall, I couldn't really complain about the performance of the girls. They give 100%. I think we have got it in us. We are a good team and we can play whenever we play well. We pass a move, we create chances, we can score. Yeah, I think COVID related and um, injuries and availability and stuff like that, we're really struggling down to the bare bones of the squad there. Um, luckily enough, we got a couple of girls uh, last minute that kind of filled in and then brought us back up to the 11. But it was a hard game. Glad not to concede in the second half. I thought we'd done really well. Could have probably snatched a couple of goals to make it a wee bit interesting towards the end, but I thought we did really good. <laughs> so that completes our coverage of week eight of NIWFA football for this season. I hope you've enjoyed your day, Colin, at Dixon Park in sunny Ballyclare. The things I do, <laughs> the things I do. Once again, thank you so much for watching our show. Hopefully we'll see you all again next time around. But until then, don't forget, girls, girls get, get football. football.